What are nanoparticles? by kscience.com. Nanoscience is the science of nanoparticles, or really small things. To understand nanoscience, we first need to make sure we understand the difference between different units. So one meter equals 100 centimeters, one centimeter equals 10 millimeters, and one millimeter equals 1 billion nanometers. 1 nanometer is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of minus 9 meters. So the thickness of paper is 100,000 nanometers. An animal cell has a diameter of roughly 10,000 nanometers. Nanoparticles represented by these dots have a size of 1 to 100 nanometers and individual atoms are roughly 0.1 nanometers. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Nanoparticles have a high surface area to volume ratio. We can show what we mean by this by drawing two different sized cubes where the length on one side of the cube is 100 nanometers and the length on this side of the cube is 1 nanometer. We're now going to use this information to calculate the surface area and volume of each cube. To calculate the surface area of the large cube, we do 100 times 100 times 6 square nanometers. This equals 60,000 square nanometers. The volume is 100 times 100 times 100. This equals 1 million cubic nanometers. So the surface area to volume ratio is 60,000 square nanometers to 1 million cubic nanometers. This gives a surface area to volume ratio of 0 0.06 per nanometer. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The surface area of the smaller cube can be calculated by doing 1 times 1 times 6 nanometers squared. This has a total surface area of 6 nanometers squared. The volume is 1 times 1 times 1. This equals 1 nanometer cubed. And then the surface area to volume ratio is 6 nanometers squared to 1 nanometer cubed. So this gives an overall surface area to volume ratio of 6 per nanometer. The high surface area to volume ratio means nanoparticles are highly reactive as a high percentage of their atoms are at their surface so are used in very small amounts. So nanoparticles are used in very small amounts as they are so highly reactive due to their very high surface area to volume ratio. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.